Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Tiffany Quinn here, and today we are going to be doing a full body burner using a set of dumbbells. So have a lighter set and a heavier set in front of you. We are going to start off with a single weight just to get our bodies moving, get everything warmed up, and we are going to start right away. So grab that lighter weight for me, if you will. Come to the center of your mat. Now face both of those feet forward, about hip width distance apart. We're going to bring that weight right in front and come into a squat, bicep curl up, and bring it back up to standing in three, two, one. Okay, press into those heels, press that butt back, bring those arms up to shoulder height, and stand it. Now squeeze those glutes every time you come up, press to those heels, squeeze those abs, and we really want to engage that core, especially for all these exercises. So today is designed to work your entire body. We're going to work the lower, the upper, the abs. Oh yes, we are. A little bit of cardio in there as well so that we can burn calories, gain strength, Feel powerful and walk out of here with what? Results, right? Okay, bring it down, bicep curl up, and come up to standing for me. We are gonna switch into our next exercise just like that. Yes, these are gonna go by so quick. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna do a knee drive into a press forward, okay? So you're gonna press through the supporting heel, you're gonna drop those shoulders down, squeeze those abs in, and you're gonna drive the opposite knee to that opposite elbow and extend out nice and long. Let's go in three, two, one. Really twist, rotate over to that side. We're gonna wake those obliques up, wake that core up, drop those shoulders down, and really just focus in on the reason you came here today. Do you come here to get stronger, to burn calories, to learn some new exercises, to wake yourself up, to get a mood boost, Whatever the case may be, I want you to remind yourself every time things get tough that it is you against you today. Challenge yourself. Get past that comfort zone because that, guys, is where the results are. So if you're trying to get results, all you have to do is keep on going and really test your limits. Let's go, guys, for five and four. Twist a little bit further. Three, two, and one more for me. And release. We're going to switch over to that other side. So. See, these are going by fast. This is already on minute three. And once we get to minute three, that is when your mind goes, okay, I'm ready for this. I'm going to finish it out. So stick through number three. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Elbow drive to the opposite side and extend out nice and long. Really push yourself. Push that momentum. And if you want to get more of a calorie burn here, you know, do a little bit of hit, you can even speed this up. Whatever your pace is, do what's best for you, what's comfortable for you. Trust your body. Believe that whatever your body is telling you you can do today, that's what I want you to do, plus a little bit more. So wherever you were yesterday, let's try to get 1% better today. Really twist over to that side. Extend those arms out. We've got one more exercise with this single weight here, and then we are going to pick up those heavier weights and two of them. There we go. Let's go for five, four, three, Two, last one guys, give it your all, and extend. Let's release that weight down, and we are gonna go into some reverse lunges with a front raise. So for this, you're gonna come down into a reverse lunge, lift those arms up, only to shoulder height, bring it back up, squeeze that glute at the top, and then alternate to that other side in three, two, one. Now pick a point in front of you that isn't moving. It's gonna help you prevent, your, <laughs> prevent yourself from falling down, okay? So if you're really struggling with balance here, when you pick that point in front of you that isn't moving, it's going to help you balance as well as engaging those abs. So squeeze that belly button towards the spine. Both of those hips are facing forward. That front knee is in a 90 degree angle. It's behind the toe. There we go. And let's bring it down a little bit further. You against you. You can do better. You can do more than you think you can. Just tell yourself that you're capable and crazy things are going to happen. That's how you're going to get those results. Trust me, I'm like proof of it, okay? You don't need a gym to get results. You can do all this at home. Come down, press through that heel, bring it up that last time, and you can release. All right, we're going to switch those heavier weights. If you need to, stick to the lighter, but for advance, let's pick those up. So both weights this time. There we go. We are going to do, that's right, a forward lunge to a side lift, okay? So you're going to take that forward lunge, you're going to bring those arms up to shoulder height, and then alternate to that other side. Let's go, guys. Press through that heel, pick that point in front of you that isn't moving, Tell yourself you've got this and bring those arms up. If you need to, you can take this motion out, this side arm raise, and just focus on the lower body. Again, wherever you need to be. So if you do this workout, you take this arm raise out, and you go to do this workout again next week, I want you to add that arm raise in. Because the whole point of this is to level up 
challenge yourself because what is this? A 21 day tone up challenge. We're, we're working on the whole body. We started this extreme 21 day challenge with a full body workout without the weights. We are just leveling up right now. Let's take it up one more time on the right. And one more time on that left. And come up to standing for me. Okay. We're gonna go into a side lunge with bicep curl. So let's bring those palms facing up. 90 degree angle, elbows in towards the waist. You're gonna take it into a side lunge. While you're down here, you're gonna do a bicep curl and bring it back up. Let's go guys, over to that left. Press through that heel, keep that butt facing back. There we go, lift that chest, ribs are tucked under, squeeze the abs in. So basically this whole routine, I'm gonna tell you to squeeze your abs because that's how you're gonna keep your balance, work the core, and that's gonna make you stronger and make you more capable for all of the exercises that you do. It is like the powerhouse of your body, that's right. So you wanna squeeze those that in, tuck those hips forward, press on that heel, and push that knee out towards the side for three, you got this. Two more, guys. Two. And last one. Over that side. Lift those arms up and release. Okay. We are going to go over to that right side now. Just take a breath. You got 15 seconds. I know. It don't give you very long, right? Well, 15 minutes. I want you to get the most out of it. So let's go. In three, two, one. Arms at that 90 degree angle. Tuck those elbows in and squeeze for that bicep curl. We've got 40 seconds right here. And then we've got one more standing exercise. We're gonna take it to the ground. And then we're gonna finish off by coming back up to standing. So we get a little bit of a break in between, sort of. I wouldn't say they're any easier because we're still working our entire body, but that's what we wanna do. We came in and challenge ourselves to burn those calories. I know I'm already breaking out of sweat. Yes, I am. So I'm right there with you, but I'm gonna stay here with you. I'm gonna do all these exercises with you. I'm gonna teach you exactly what to do, how I do it, and these are the same. The same exercises that I do on a daily basis. Bring those weights up for three, and two, and one more on that right side. Really give it your all, and come back up to standing. Okay, so next exercise, we're gonna do a squat to a row to a fly. Yes, so you're gonna bring your hands right to your sides, palms are facing in, feet forward, hip width distance apart here. Come into that squat, you're gonna come all the way up, lean it forward, elbows in, row it out, Hands in front, into a fly. This is gonna go quick, let's go. So come down into that narrow squat, lean it forward, row it out, hands in front, into that fly, only to shoulder height. Keep that back nice and straight, squeeze those abs in, press that butt back on that squat. I know it's a lot of combination moves here, but the next time you do this routine, you're gonna be like, oh, I got this, I've done this before. So I like these combo moves because it kind of tests your ability and also it kind of distracts you, right? You're like, okay, I'm trying to figure this out and all of a sudden, 40 seconds has gone by like nothing. So row those elbows in and bring those arms up to a flat. We've got one more to go. Come down into that narrow squat, bring it up, lean forward, hinge at the hips, row, last fly, and release. See, okay, super fast. So now we're gonna switch back to that single weight, but we're gonna keep that heavier weight, all right? So come all the way down to your mat. You can catch a little breath, grab a drink of water, I get it. <laughs> all right, we're gonna come into this high plank position. And if you're a beginner, you're just gonna stay on your knees right here, advance, pop onto those toes, and follow along with me. You're gonna pass that weight from one side to the other. Now, while you're here, okay, you're gonna squeeze those abs in, squeeze those glutes, and when you're passing that weight over, really try not to rock your upper body. So you wanna try to keep everything stable here. You're really pressing through the opposite hand of the one you're lifting. Now, as you do this, picture that you had your favorite drink on your back, you have your protein shake, your post-workout shake on your back, and you don't want to spill it because you want to make sure you can drink it after the workout, right? Okay, let's go. For five, four, three, two, and you can release down to those knees. Woo! Okay, yes, I know those are killer. So we're going to flip on over, still using that single weight. We're gonna come all the way down to our backs and we are gonna do a sit up to an overhead press. So you're gonna come all the way down, squeeze those abs in. All right, you're gonna lift it up, press up towards the ceiling, bring it back down. We're gonna count down for five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Start in now, lift up, press those arms up towards the ceiling and come down with me for five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it again. Up, press it up towards the ceiling, come down for five, Four, three, two, one. Don't you hit that mat until I'm done with the count. Come up, press it upward for five, four, three, two, 
One, keep those feet down on the mat. Bring it up, press, come down for the last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can release down to the mat. So now you're gonna take your feet, let's bring them to the outside, the edges of our mat here. Now, if you're not on the mat, it's just gonna be a little wider than hip width distance apart. Press those knees out towards the side. You're gonna bring your arms right overhead at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna do a skull crusher into a bridge, okay? So it's one, two, three, four. Let's get going. So arms come up, arms come down, press into the heels, lift those hips up towards the ceiling and back down. One, two, three, four. Follow along. One, two, three, four. Let's speed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And back to slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last time. One, two, three, four. And you can release. How did that feel? I know. It's like you're just trying to keep up, right? <laughs> no, we got this. Okay, so we are gonna do one more exercise down here on the ground and we're gonna come up to standing for our final two. So we are on the last three minutes, you have a whole stretch. What we're gonna do here is pick up those lighter weights this time. I don't want you to use the heavier ones, so pick your lighter weights. And we are gonna come up into a plank position. Beginner, you're just on your knees right here. Advanced, you're gonna come up, you're gonna row, and then tricep kick back, and then alternate to the other side. So let's get started. Squeeze those abs and press through those toes. Lean forward just a little bit. Row and tricep kick back. Good job. Row, elbow comes in towards the waist. Kick back and lift that tricep up. You're really squeezing the tricep. This is going to work your back and then underarm area. So that area of the flat that we get right below our arm. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I know some of us like to hyper focus on it, right? So this is going to help work that. Okay, squeeze that elbow in. Tricep kick back. We're going to do another five, four, breathe guys. You're almost there, stay up, three, and two, I know it's brutal, last one, and one, okay, release down to those knees, we're going to come up to standing, so we're going to pick those heavier weights back up, yep, we're doing it, <laughs> I know, I know, I'm really testing you today, right, 21 day challenge, that's what it's about, all right, so you're going to bring those hands to a 90 degree angle again, their palms are going to be facing in, and now, you're going to curtsy lunge over to the right, come up, and then squeeze those elbows out towards the side. Let's go. So press them through that front heel. Knee comes out towards the front on the diagonal. Press that butt back as far as you can. Try to come down a little bit lower and squeeze those shoulders to the top. So you don't need to bring your elbows any higher than shoulder height. You're just wanting right here. You've got one more exercise. After we cover this other side, then we get to stretch it out. Calm down, take a breather. I know I can use one. Let's go. All right, three. Lift those arms, two. Keep going, guys. You got one more. You can do one more. One more rep. It's all it takes. And last arm lift. We are going to do that one more time. Don't put those heavier weights down yet. You against you. You can do this. I know you can. So bring those palms facing in. 90 degree angle, right about chest level. Press into that supporting foot. We're going to take it to the other side. And three, two, one. Okay, press through that heel. Come down. And lift those arms out. Great job, everybody. You guys are killing it. You have one more exercise after this. And I promise you, it's going to be the easiest exercise that we've done today. So you might as well stick it out to the very, very end. Because like I said before, that's how you get results. And that's how you create discipline. And that's how you create a routine. The other thing is, this 21 day challenge, I give you new exercises all the time. I'm always on the lookout so you don't get bored. Because I think a lot of us think we're getting lazy, but really, we're getting bored and then we stop doing what we were doing that we know we should be doing, right? So we're gonna stick with it. We are already at the halfway point of the 21 day challenge. Which by the way, if you just stumbled into it, that calendar is below, click the link, it'll tell you what's coming up next. One more down, bring it up, squeeze those arms out to the side, and you can release. Now if you want, you can drop those weights for about 30 seconds. <laughs> So you're going to take a wide position on your mat now. We're going to do a sumo squat to chest pull. So those feet are coming out towards the diagonal. Let's pick those weights back up. I know, happens so quick. I'm here with you. But we are going to come down, squeeze those elbows up, kind of like we did before, but right in front, and bring it back up to the top. 40 seconds, last burner. Let's go. Come down, squeeze those elbows up. Really squeeze it. Really squeeze those glutes. Press in those heels. Lift those toes up off the floor. Squeeze the abs in. We've got this for the last 30 seconds. You can do it. I believe in you. You should believe in you. And that's what every single workout you do is all about, is proving to yourself you can do this. Lift those elbows up and bring it back up. 
for five. Let's speed it up. And three. Keep going. Last two. Lift those elbows up for the last time. Come down. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Release. Okay. We can drop those weights off to the side now. So how does that feel, everybody? So pretty good, right? It feels even better to be done. <laughs> okay, so let's stretch things out a little bit. Just take a nice wide position on your mat here for me. And I want you to relax both those elbows down on your knees and just kind of lean into each side. You're gonna feel the stretch out your back as well as your shoulders if you want. You can even have your hands right up here. Whatever feels comfortable for you. This is gonna stretch out a little bit more than when your elbows on your knees. So lean over to that right side, take a breath in. And release. And swivel, swivel over to that other side. Oh my gosh, that was a serious burner. By the way, guys, my heat is on. <laughs> so I, what I normally do is I'll turn it off for the video, but I think it came on right before I filmed it. Oh my gosh, it is really hot down here. Okay. And come to the front for me. And let's just take it from side to side. Let's stretch those calves out and those inner thighs. Hold it here for three two, one, and over to that other side. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys have a stretch video that went up. So if you feel like you need to stretch out a little bit more after this, in the same playlist of the 21 Day Challenge, you're gonna find that stretch video. So you can always go to that. And then you can have another 10 minute stretch, which is also gonna help you sleep better. Okay, so hold it right here for three, two, one, and come back up to the center for me. Let's walk it back in. Just take that left arm, bring it overhead, and just Gently hold that elbow, you feel that stretch out of the tricep. How are those tricep kickbacks, by the way? I know. <laughs> I was practicing them for the routine, and I was like, oh my gosh, do I really want to do this? Yeah, I gotta do it. <laughs> Anytime I feel challenged, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're throwing that in. Okay, let's bring that other elbow in. Just hold it right here for me. So like I was saying, I mean, every single exercise I do, I don't think I've hit the gym more than five or six times in the past five years, and I mean, you really don't need a gym to get toned. So if your excuse in the morning is like, I can't make it to the gym, you don't need the gym. You need a set of dumbbells, a pair of resistance bands, and body weight exercises. It will do the trick, so long as you are consistent and you have the right nutrition. Now, nutrition guys, 80% of it, I know it sucks to hear, but you can work out all freaking day, okay? And never see a result if you're not eating the right thing. So. It's true, if you need help with nutrition, go to the link below, it says get my nutrition plan. I will one-on-one -on -one coach you with nutrition, show you exactly what I do to stay in shape and also get better results. So it'll literally fast track your progress. So if you're serious about it, go click that link, get started with me and I will guide you the entire way. All right, so anyway, we are on the halfway point. Let's keep going. If you didn't subscribe already, you're being naughty, go subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you for day, what is it? Day 14, all right, see you then. Have a great day, everybody.